Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Scorpio with a clear and concise message from you. Alright, so Scorpio, what we're dealing with is forgiveness and moving. Okay, yeah, and moving. Okay, so some of you, you just need to forgive yourself first because forgiveness starts with you. And then you need to forgive other people involved. Okay, so make it inward and then start working outward with forgiveness. And moving could actually be physically moving. And this card specifically talks about moving on from a toxic, karmic, terrible, tumultuous, drama-filled relationship person place or thing so some of you are moving on from that um some of you have taken up new uh, challenges with your body you have lost weight you're, you're planning to lose weight you're exercising more you're seeing some body changes also you are listening to your body when your body starts talking you are actually honing in on what's going on here also when you're around certain people you're, you're also picking up on how you feel how your body feels um and what's going on with you the chemistry of your body here um what we got going on here is that some of you have turned your back to a specific person place or thing you have become the ice queen you're seeing through the bs through a situation that was confusing at once it is no longer confusing you see clearly you understand very clearly even when someone tries to communicate with you and bring in frustration um, or try to distort your vision or your your vision for yourself firstly or try to to distort the the truth the truth of the matter they have to tell you lies um you see what's going on because you're having a new love a new lease on life a newfound love for your life for yourself um just a new phase of your life opening up for you um you could be walking into a lot of success um, either independently uh, with the sudden wealth the sudden wealth card and the high honor card you could be walking into a lot of success here you could be recognized honored in your community amongst your peers um, or it could be that you were with or in a marriage with a wealthy man that brought you a lot of prestige, a lot of honor. Um, but in this marriage, it seems as if somebody was still wanting to be uh, the playboy. Uh, the guy, you know, with the fast car, the sports car, hanging out the side of his vehicle, hollering at girls, um, just being seen. Could be younger, if not younger than you, Scorpio. They have a youthful vibe about themselves. And um, and they have this kind of like Rico Suave type of feel about themselves with that dark male coming up. And they could be of a different ethnicity than you. Hispanic, Indian, black. Um, somewhere where, you know, the, the hue to their skin is darker. And they know, and they try to walk around as if they are God's gift to women and they're just so sexy. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be someone else. Um, this person is married. But they are still just, you know, coming up as that energy. And there could also be that maybe their wife or their significant other walked away from the connection. And uh, she is the ice queen right now. She's not hearing it. She's not up for it. Uh, because she knows that this is not serving her her highest uh, purpose. I'm trying to get this card um, that fell down. Oh, okay. Great. All right, um, the cards want you to know that it's just not the right time for you, you two to come back together. Uh, but there is still hope and someone is holding out hope. Obstacles are still in the way. This card is saying let, you know, let go and let God. If it's that you guys come back together, it's you come back together. If it's not, it's not. But the cards also want you to to realize to uh, never give up on something you really want because I feel like you really want this person. 
um, it's just that they just aren't at a place where they can give you what you actually deserve. And this relationship is going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of effort to really see it through, to have some realization in the relationship. This person, uh, I don't know, they could be a piece of work right now, especially with this young male coming up where they um, either they're younger or they just walk around and try to act like they're younger, dress younger, look younger, drive fast cars, talk to younger females. And they may be out here right now doing hardcore drugs and they don't have a plan to stop. They don't feel like they should. Um, they know that they've messed up with you and they're saying, I'm going to make it up to you. Um, this person could even go as far as to say, I'm going to ask you to move in with me. Um, I don't know how serious they are about that. And they, they want to say to you, you think you're so mature, but you aren't. Or this is what you're saying to this person. Um, this person really doesn't have respect for women. And maybe that's why they deal with opposite sex relationships in the manner that they deal with the men. They just don't have respect for women. And right now, with you withdrawing yourself from their energy, from this relationship, they have become the chaser. They're chasing you. But... With you being the ice queen, you see through their lies and their deception um, because you're saying, hey, uh, I understand that you don't want a relationship. You just want the idea of having a relationship. So just they just like having you. This is like knowing that you're there. They like the comfort of a marriage, the stability when they come home from their eight party relationship in it. I mean, like everybody can get it. They're just open. They're out here. It's hot boy, hot girl season. This open season for them. They want you to know like you're not special. Okay. I ignore everybody. I ignore all women. I um, cheat all the time. I lie all the time. Hey, I want you to know that I do this to several people. This is You're not special in terms of me frustrating the shit out of you. I will frustrate anyone, okay, is what they're saying to you. Um, for some of you, they're saying, look, you knew what this was from the beginning. They could have been cheating all along. They could have been lying all along. They could have been keeping op options open all along. And maybe now you've grown into a place where you just want more. Okay, and um, this is this is just not what you want. You want to move on from toxicity, from drama, from lies, from problems. Uh, you want to <clears throat> forgive and forget. Yeah, forget them. Yeah, um, because this relationship is going to be hard work. And I think you know it. They know it. It's it's. It could be an uphill battle, especially with the obstacle card. Um, you're experiencing some spiritual growth right now. And you're no longer open to this open relationship. For some of you, you knew what it was from the beginning. But we all reserve the right to change our minds, to grow, to have spiritual growth. And, and then we want something better and something new for ourselves okay so this is your reading scorpio i hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage uh, of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel if you feel like you took something from the reading you could give back thank you scorpio many blessings to you take care